Hello and welcome. I will start this video by explaining why I did this, then I will explain a little about Entity Framework and then we go to the code part where we will save the file path in the database and the second option saving the file binary in the database. And the reason is, well, in a previous video we saw how to upload a file in Web API right then we add another video where i explained how to save the file in the database properly we using ado.net and we saw in this video that we had two options the first one was saving the file in the system and then saving the file path in the database the second one was saving the file binary in the database okay in this video in this present video we will do the same version of this one the second one but using entity framework okay and what is entity framework well, it is a ORM, Object Relational Mapping Framework, okay? And it brings to the object-oriented programming world a simplified way to deal with databases, is just that. And when we are working with Entity Framework, we have three options. The first option is we can write C-sharp code and then it will generate the database from the code and this is called code first because we write code first okay then we have a second option that we have a visual designer where we drag and drop boxes and it will generate the c-sharp code and also the database from that model of boxes okay and this is called model first and the third and last one is generate c-sharp code from an existing database and this is called database first okay code first model first and database first because we already did the database part in the previous videos we will use the last option generate c-sharp code from existing database database first let's take a look at option one saving the file path like we saw in the previous videos we have a file we send the file okay and we have this action method that is called file upload and this action method will do two operations two main operations okay it will save first the file in the system in a folder in the system and then it will save the file path in that folder in the database okay and the main operations for these are first we need to generate the entity framework objects then we can move the file to a folder and create a file location object this file location object is an entity framework object and it represents the file location table in the database finally we can add and save this file location object into the database is just simple as that in the hello world project we will work in file uploading controller okay we open the file and we go here we have this upload file this is the action method that i talked about and now we have two sections the first one is the ado.net the region of ado.net and another region for entity framework and here we have two methods save file path sql server entity framework and save file binary sql server entity framework we will work here but before doing code we need to install entity framework in this project okay so to do that we go here to tools and nugget package manager manage nugget packages for solution we go to browse and we search for entity framework we have this option we select we select our project okay and we say that we want to install entity framework in this project hello world we say okay and we accept and now it is installed okay we don't need to do nothing more so with this step we just installed entity framework in this project okay now we need to create the objects for that okay so we go here to the solution we can create this folder model it's simple we go to the project and we say add new folder and then we name it model 
okay and before everything before everything let's go here to the services and make sure that sql server is running so right click on this because in my case is stopped now is running okay we go here and in the folder right click and we say that we want to add a new item here we go to Visual C Sharp and we say data. We select ADO.NET Entity Data Model and we give it a name. My database. We add and now he asks for what we want to do with this. And we add that three options, right? This is the code first option. This is the code first option empty. We have the designer, the model first, and this is the database first. So we choose this one and we go to next. Now it's time to connect to the database. So we go here and we say that we want a new connection. And this window opens, okay? This should be Microsoft SQL server okay SQL client we have several options then we should select the server but for some reason Visual Studio cannot identify that I have in this machine a SQL server so we go to management studio and we go to the server right click properties and we copy the name of the server we go back to visual studio and we paste here then we should select the database name so we go here and the guy knows that it has a database called proj web api so we select this one it should be a windows authentication because i don't have any special security setup so here we can test the connection the guy says that the connection was succeed okay and now we can say okay we can go forward so we say next now it's time to say to entity framework which tables we want to appear in the code okay so we go here in tables expand dbo expand and we say that we want the file location and we say finish and the guy just created this we have this this is the designer where we can see the model we have here a file location this is the table file location and it has an id and a file path here in the model folder we have a lot of things that the guy just generated for us okay now we can do our code so we can close these and go here to the region entity framework okay and we expand the save file path sql server entity framework the first step is move file to folder so it's easy file dot move and we say local file and also the new file path the second part is creating a file location object var fl is equals to new file location and for this we need to import hello world.model and we pass the file path that is equals to file path the parameter file path so we just add to do this now let's move to the final step add and save it in the database first we need to have a entities object we must go here first in model okay and in the my database dot context cs we can open these and let's see it creates something called proj web api entities okay so we copy these and we go to our file uploading controller and we say using var context is equals to new proj web api entities okay and next we have to say context dot file locations dot add our new file location fl after adding the file location we must save it context dot 
save change and now we are ready to test so we go up to our action method the upload file and we expand and we go down down is almost in the end and here i have already it commented the save file path sql server entity framework and we pass the local file name and the file path it's exactly the same thing that is from ado okay now we can run let's open the app data folder so we go open folder in explorer and it opens the folder we already have here something but let's delete this cat and in postman we will do a post and we say that in the body we want a file not text and we choose a file here we choose the cat and we open we send and we got the response file uploaded if we go to the folder okay we have this cat in the server if we go to management studio and we open a new query we choose the database Proj web api select everything from dbo.file location f5 and we have here our new entry cat okay i have another one because i did some tests before these okay now let's take a look at save file binary option okay like we saw in the previous video we send the files to our action methods file upload and then we get the binary of that file and we send it to the database is just that so the main operations for these are we need first to generate again the entity framework objects now we don't need to install the entity framework and we get the file binary we create a file object that is an entity framework object and then we can add that object and save the object in the database now we will do the second method save file binary sql server entity framework before before doing some code we need to import the table files okay to our model so we go to solution explorer and we go to the folder model and file my database dot edm x double click we open this and we want to update this so we right click here and we choose the option update model from database this opens we want to add a table so we go to the section of tables we choose dbo and we have here another table the files the file location doesn't appear here because the entity framework knows already that we have these imported here okay so we choose files and we say finish and this new box was created okay the file it has an id file bin it has a name and a size so now we can do our code we go to file uploading controller and let me expand these and first we need to get the file binary we did this already in the previous video about the same thing in ADO okay so we go up and go to the section ADO.net and we choose the second method where we say get file binary we just copy these okay and we go to our new methods and we just passed and this code is very simple we just declare here a file bytes that is a byte array and then we open a file stream on local file just to read okay and we say that the file bytes has the same dimension the same length of file stream okay this file stream then we read into file bytes the byte array the content of of this file stream okay now let's go to the second part create a file object we say here var file is equals to new file and we say file bin is equals to file bytes and the guy is complaining about something because this reference is ambiguous okay and because we have already a system.io.file so we must go to the model and we go here and we can right click and rename instead of file we call these files 
files. After we save, the guy will update the code. Now we can go back to our code and instead of calling it file, it's files, okay? Now the guy knows what it is. The binary of the file is file bytes. Next, we need to give the name and this is the file name parameter. And the last is the size, so size is equals to file bytes dot length. The next and final part is add and save it in the database. So we do the same thing as we did in the previous case using var context is equals to new proj web api entities and we say context dot in this case is files not file location. It calls files one whatever and dot add and we pass our new file. After this we can say context.save changes and the code is just this, okay? If you want to compare with the other methods with ADO.NET, if we go up and we see here the ADO version, we got the file bytes then we needed to create a connection string, we needed to say the command to execute in the database, we needed to create a connection, a command, then we needed to add parameters to that command, and we needed to open the connection, execute our operation, and finally close that connection, okay? With Entity Framework we don't need to worry about that stuff, okay? We just have to do some configurations at the beginning but after that we don't have to be worried about those stuff okay now let's do our test let's go up and to our action method and here instead of calling save file path sql server entity framework we will call the save file binary sql server entity framework okay and let me comment the previous one and we run this we go to postman and we do the same post we send the same request and we got this response okay if we go to SQL Management Studio and we say select everything from dbo.files and we run this, we will get another entry, okay? This is our new cat. These are two versions of my own tests, okay? And this is it. This is the end. Don't forget that you can download the source code. The link is in the description. And also give it a like, a comment, and as always, thank you for watching.